Yeah, shout out to the motherfucking FFTSE, Gemini Records, Lionheart Filming. We are, we got. You know what I'm saying? Power Rain and Kissing Gaming Radio. Look at this motherfucker. Look, she just ignorant. On it. <laughs> On it. Alrighty. 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 So, how are we going to do this? We're going to do it in like, uh. Oh. How you been? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, how you so, been? I've been good. Uh. I ain't had nothing bad happen uh, this week. Nothing, nothing stressful or whatever. The kids was good. Uh, some minor bullshit happened, but that's neither here nor there. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just got to push. You know what I mean? Like When you're on a basketball team, niggas know on a basketball team that you got to do your role. You know what I'm saying? But then some motherfuckers get used to playing on a sad-ass basketball team and being the number one option. Yeah. So when they get on a dream team or a super team, they, nigga, don't, they don't share. They don't know how to share. Or they, they can't necessarily, you know what I mean, like coexist with other superstars, yeah. which is not a bad thing, but it is a bad thing because if you can't coexist with other superstars, how do you expect to be on that next level? Exactly. You know what I mean? Millionaires hang out with millionaires. Billionaires hang out with billionaires. You can't be a broke nigga trying to hang out with a bunch of broke niggas. You just gonna stay broke. Yeah, nigga. you're definitely gonna stay broke, stressed <laughs> the fuck out, and and lost. You know what I'm saying? So other than that, uh, shit. I moved a moved the space around because wife wanted to be able to have a gaming table, or whatever. So we added the gaming table to the front room, which is the studio room where the lab is. She made me put up my keyboard. <laughs> oh, we went through a whole it was so messy. Yeah, it was, it was, she made me put out the keyboard and the beat pad. She's like, "But you won't be using it." But I'm like, "I use it though." But yeah, it's up, space, though. yeah, it ended up working out or whatever. I gave her what she wanted, even though I caused hell for it. <laughs> it be what it be. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. But you know, wouldn't be men if we don't. Yeah, but what about you, niggas? Did you want to put me on blast? What about you, niggas? Yeah, uh, man. Listen, to be honest. I'm going to say I've been cool. It's been a little hectic, but it ain't been shit that I ain't been through before. You feel me? Right, right, so, right. Really, I can honestly say that shit. I've been cool. I'm really just trying to figure out. I ain't going to lie. I'm going to be hitting these redeems throughout the chat like they channel, like they button. So I if you say that. something, I might be in the phone and be like, I'll hit the button. You'll hear it on there. Hey, I ain't fucking better. Uh, but uh, nah, I just I've I been cool. <laughs> <laughs> I've been cool, man. Keeping my head above water. That's it. Facts, 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 facts. Uh, that's all we can do. So, uh, let's talk about this Christmas thing. So we gonna start it off slight and get you know get serious later. So, how could I ask this? Do you believe in Christmas or do you celebrate Christmas? And then after you answer that question, explain why or give me an example why or why you feel like that. To be honest, I don't even know. Just really for the simple fact, right? Right. Growing up, you always celebrated Christmas. Christmas. You feel me? But the main thing about Christmas is gifts. People buying shit. People bringing you Gifts, right? You know what I'm saying, I'm gonna, so, I'm gonna let you cook. I'm gonna let you cook. I ain't gonna interrupt you. Know what I mean? so, I'm gonna let you cook. It's like I don't, I don't even know what to really. I don't know what to really put out there as to what I really believe in. Okay, so let me help you out. Would you put Joe? Your... I don't. I never believed in Santa. No, nah, so that's what I'm getting never. To. Like, so I that's what I said. Do you believe in Christmas? So. For me, nah, never as believed. a kid, yeah, you believe in it. But as as once you grow up and you realize, whenever your parents tell you, it don't matter what it is, whatever, nigga, mm. you are you then begin to realize or what you think Christmas means. You, of course, we know about Jesus and everything like that. But take that aside. They said it's Christmas, birthday, right? huh? They said it's his birthday, right? Yeah, but it's actually like in the summertime. But exactly, yeah, that's neither here nor there. So let's take the. Christmas Eve and then Christmas, which you compare it to the same thing as like Thanksgiving. Like when you were a kid, it's gobble gobble season, you know what I'm saying, and shit like that. But as an adult, whatever, it's really about the fellowship, going over niggas' houses, you know what I'm saying, seeing grandma and auntie and them, or just sit back at the crib watching motherfucking football, turkey day, whatever, you know what I'm saying. I mean, really, I don't understand why we got a Christmas Eve. It's the day of, the day before. 
So, so what? Would, because, so would you say it, they were the all eves? Because if we're really being technical, right? We got a New Year's. We, okay, we got yeah, New, New Year's, Year's Eve. Eve. We got Christmas Eve. Why don't we got a Thanksgiving Eve? Because the we day we do like, have a Thanksgiving Eve. No, we don't. Yes, we do. What day? It's the day before. It's that Wednesday. And what's that day? And, and we, what do we do on that day? The same shit. No, we don't. Because don't nobody think of man, Thanksgiving listen, Eve. Unless I'm in but the, that's what I was going to say. I'm in the Mandela Effect. You, I remember you gotta going to be. school and they had Thanksgiving Eve and Thanksgiving. We had that off and it was included in the fucking uh, fall break. I never heard of a Thanksgiving Eve. And the crazy part is, like I said, if if we got all these other E's because of what happened the day of, why not Thanksgiving Eve because of what happened the day of before they again came and unless I'm living in some type of Mandela effect or something, bro. I remember Thanksgiving Eve because it was the Wednesday before. It's always been the Wednesday before. Then all of a sudden, nigga, when I got to like, what's she saying? It just means the day before. That's what Miss Powell says. So technically, no, it. yo. Your birthday, you can have I just, a a bow eve. But no, I was just, I was just. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was bow eve. I was just thinking, like, like, why don't we have a Thanksgiving Eve since we got all these other eves? But hell, we don't, we don't got no. You know what, what most niggas do on Thanksgiving Eve? Cook. Start the cooking. Yeah, start the cooking. Yeah. Until the day, until the next day. Yeah. It's just roasted. Yeah. For five hours. Especially niggas. You definitely cooking that Wednesday afternoon all the way up to motherfucking them, them stank man. ass chitlins. Man, I'm not fucking with it. I hated them shits. Them dirty ass chitlins. That's what motherfucker be smashing. Yeah, shit. Bro, my thing is this, right? My uh, mama uh, made just a pot of chitlins, bro, for just, Thanksgiving. Just one, for one her. Time. For her and my stepdad, uh, like they literally uh, just just had. Her. Bro, I said, what? What are y'all? Was, nah, bro. Why I, like, I I know mm, nah mm-mm. <laughs> yeah. I, and, and the crazy part is <laughs> I tried it one time, bro. Man, I had man, no. listen. You know how much cornbread no, and hot sauce bro. I put in that shit? It's nasty. I do it, bro. I had to, but I mean, it was only good because of that. It's it only good because of that. But other than that, I, bro, wish I, I wouldn't eat it, bro. I wouldn't eat it by itself. Or, nah, bro. I'm not I eating it at yeah, all. Yeah, I would, oh, bro. No. I and, think and they like, told me, nigga, eat some ass or eat some chillers. I'm just I mean, going to go ahead and eat some toes or chillers. I dare to go for the toes, yeah. nigga. Nah, chillers will never win. That- chillers will never win. It, 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 yeah, that shit will never, never be on, on my top list for nothing. Ever. Uh, that, shit is, that shit is worse than death. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so uh, I guess you would say basically uh, for me, Christmas on the foundation is still happiness for a kid. You still want to be a kid on Christmas, right? Whether you're giving the gifts to your kids or you're receiving them or whatever. Yeah. But for me, I feel like Christmas is like in the same boat as Thanksgiving. It's a day where nigga, I meet up with family. Maybe a couple of extended family or some cousins or whatever. Hopefully we eat. Oh, we definitely don't eat. Okay? <laughs> we right. we don't eat. eat. See, I used to house hop. That used to be a tradition. You know, so when you younger, exactly. you know what I'm saying? When you house hop. hop. And go get multiple yeah. presents. Multiple, yeah, multiple presents, multiple plates, you know, no matter what it is. I'm going to put a laser this year, boy. And the, the year after this is going to be crazy, too. Yeah. But now I'm know. a destination for people who house hop now. So I'm cool with that. That yeah. means I graduated. Shit. You know what I mean? But yeah, Christmas, I feel like Christmas is the same thing, like uh Fetch me their soul. Oh, me their soul. Mm. <laughs> I don't even got the headphones on. I straight look down like what the fuck. What'd you say? <sighs> yeah. But alright, so uh mm. since we go Christmas, what's one tradition on Christmas that you would throw away and burn in the Bottom of hell. One tradition. Damn, how many traditions? There's there? multiple Christmas traditions. So how about this? Let's ask Alexa how many top five traditions is it on Christmas? Alexa, what are the top five traditions on Christmas? The top five traditions associated with Christmas include exchanging gifts. 
decorating a Christmas tree, attending church services, enjoying mm -hmm. a Christmas meal, and spending time with loved ones. All right, so that's Which one you taking it burning, nigga? Oh, fuck that. Which one you taking it burning? The tree, making the tree. <laughs> Yeah, the devil tried to get me right there, but it ain't <laughs> happening. No, nah, we burning the tree. Oh, my mama, fuck that tree. Because first of all, I don't help with the tree anyway, because for the simple fact, man, I don't know. It's just, it's too much. It's too much. It's too much the tree. tree. You can do it without the tree? I can do it without the tree. Make it like a, a, a pyramid or some type of present castle in the corner. Man, fuck that. Stack it all up in the corner and fuck it. Fuck that. We can go get one of them little... We can go get a buy a little tree to hang up and just let it dangle like a little mistletoe. Man, that's a pinata. That's not a <laughs> anyway. <laughs> we got a tree. <laughs> All right. Uh, what's one thing that you did on Christmas as a kid that you wish you could do with your kids now? Get them some presents. That's default. No, it ain't. That's the main thing. That's yeah, but I'm talking about more of an experience. What's one experience that you had as a kid that you look forward towards that you can give your kid? He said, give him presents? That's hey, that's, that's, I mean, it, it, that's because, my, bro, I'm telling you, my family, my family, man, 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 man. yeah, my family, okay. like, it's a every blue moon when we see each other. To be honest, all right. I, I really didn't. I ain't receive a lot. So. so, so for me, it would be when my parents used to. It, it was broke shit, but it was the best shit that I could experience. Yeah, is get in the fucking car and go to the good side of town and look at all the houses that got lights on it. And I'm talking about for a mile from like thirty eighth and Meridian all the way up to. 86, 96, or college, or yeah. those little streets like that, or even Brown Ripple or something like that. Like, but people don't do it like that. Like you see it on TikTok, but you don't see niggas in that doing that. Yeah, that's man. just like an experience that I wish. She could hell the, the motherfucker gonna call the police. See a car riding around that, riding around that motherfucker. But those are so, suburbs. I'm talking about the houses that be on the side. Like when you go down Meridian, those big houses. They be get they used to be lit. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, now they got that uh that little Christmas shit up at the fairgrounds. Man, that's that shit's boo boo. We went to that. That shit, that shit's boo boo. It ain't. It's like, I like it. I'd rather go to the zoo. I'd rather go to the zoo. Wow. Animals and lights and cocoa with marshmallows. Fuck you, me. Maybe all that. Hey, come to the marshmallows. The marshmallows, yeah. And they got the little heat vents thing that when you walk around, they can stand in front of the heat vents, get warm and shit, just like when they, summertime, they got the little thing, but this time they got heat in. Hmm. Didn't know that. Got to check that out. Yeah, like, you know, <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Check just that like, out. What she say? We didn't have a car, so I never did that. Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Dex. <laughs> All right, so, Miss Powell, what is one thing that you did? It doesn't matter if it was Broke nigga shit or middle income. What's one thing that nah, you did? Shit, that's that. Then there's some new shit that they doing though. Like, shit, you got a car now? <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? Shit, go to the fairgrounds. Goddamn, like, and get a line. Just drive around that motherfucker on the hood. That shit is not. That shit hard, bro. My kids, my kids love. I that. mean, we love to that. <laughs> we love to that. Hey. <laughs> She said house. what? Nothing? Alright, so have you ever caroled? And I'm not talking oh, about in no, church no. or school. You actually went to somebody's no. door and said, yeah, but not nobody ever come to my door and that shit ever. <laughs> and hell no. And then not nobody come to my door. I'm gonna open that bitch on. Uh, what, what, what's says, the song? Uh what? Heart I'm a boom. <laughs> 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 I'm a boom right in their face. Shut that shit. Uh uh uh. Gaily they ring while people sing. When you know the song, Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas. Yes. Merry, 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 yes. Merry Hello. Christmas. Yes. Hello. Yes. Officer. Uh, <laughs> dispatch. Uh, yeah. Uh, I got some people singing in front of my house and I did not. Oh, you want it in? Oh. <laughs> I got some people well, singing in front of my house. Oh, man. Drop her shit. If you run, they 
Like, yeah, damn. I was like, yeah, get her first. Because, no, that is trespassing. <laughs> Doing some shit like, oh, you can do it. You can do it. Wow. You can TP. So, listen, you can you TP. Can TP. I can TP your house, my you case. <laughs> you can TP my house. What? But don't you dare knock on my door and start saying yeah. <laughs> no, nah, bro. That's fucked up. What'd she say? There's a new curling with people singing trap songs. Yes, I seen that. Now, that hey, look. <laughs> motherfucker. To the windows, to the walls. Nigga, you'll be like, ah, you'll be like, yeah, you get a dub, you get a dub, you get a dub. Yeah, you'll like that shit. Yeah. Hey. Don't make you cry, nigga. Hey, you yo. Call them. You know how I'm fucking. Now, listen, I listen to that. Yeah, that's that's that shit will be funny. Oh, my God. Now, they, they've been going crazy. And it's funny as shit, too. Yeah, they now nah, they've been going crazy. Yeah, I definitely. <laughs> I listen to that. I'm, 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 I sing along. I'm on. Oh, uh, yeah. Look. Oh, my God. Pull it up, nobody, pull it up on TikTok right now. Because don't nobody know that. Trap uh, carolers or some shit. Was it trap killer, <laughs> carolers? Bro, they be singing rap songs, but they be doing it. <laughs> Cause none of them want to hear the uh, what you were just saying. Oh, that's <laughs> fucked up. <bro. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, high school. C A R. Well, oh, he did. I didn't used to be able to spell good. I just I, I did too till I started smoking. <laughs> You ain't gonna if you hear motherfuckers get the ah, ah, you ain't gonna turn around and get the ah, 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 like you ain't gonna do that. I might like, because I know the song. Shut your ass. <laughs> 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 Shut up. <laughs> you know the damn song. I mean, you gonna really turn around? Nah, nah. nah. I might not join, but I'm like but song. but you join this one though. You yeah, fuck I around that. I join that. Yeah, one. I join that. One. That's just funnier. <laughs> this is hell. Okay. It is black people. We funny. Niggas. We do. <laughs> like, the most. Like, the YT got they stuff. Yeah. But we we funny as hell. <laughs> we, do, hell we do bro. the stupidest shit. Stupidest shit, bro. All right. So that's about Christmas. What's the next topic? Remember? Shit, I think we're back on relationships, ain't it? Yeah, we're back on relationships. So... What's the what's the question for today? Okay. Question of the day is Do you think that it is disrespectful for your significant other together or not? Because if you think about it, yeah, even though y'all if y'all living together, yeah, yeah. If, you, if you're still living together, if you're still living together, but y'all not together, still living together, but y'all not together, what would you call that? Y'all together. bullshit. That, that too. But <laughs> do you think that it is disrespectful for your significant other after their after they had went out to come inside of the house past three a.m. and y'all live together? Yeah, you know, stay together. Yeah, just off the shirt that it's three o'clock. Even if we're not together, like if that little let's just say our roommate, mm-hmm. I got a roommate, 
If I wasn't notified that you was going to come in at three, nigga, I'm going to be shitty, bro. Because that means I got to get up, unlock the door, check some shit or move around or whatever. Be pissed. Like, so, yeah, just off the strength, if it's a roommate or in your relationship, if there was no communication at hand, nigga, yeah, it's wrong. Exactly. Exactly. Did y'all discuss a time? Here's the thing. Three, he said three o'clock in the morning. Here's the, here's oh, the, no, she said that y'all discuss the Here's the problem. Time. Here's the problem. Every single time she goes out, mm -hmm. you come home four or five o'clock. Now, mind you, four o'clock, right? Okay, you feel me? Okay, cool. All right. Now, it's man, like but going you know, to the bar and we going to club and club. Clubbing. All right, so we going to club it, right? So she at the club to that motherfucker close. And the motherfucker close. Two o'clock. Two o'clock. But that don't mean another club ain't open. Yes, it do. And it don't mean an after party yes, it do. ain't, it's ain't it's, there. Especially, especially for the simple fact, right? Five o'clock, bro. Especially, no one's going to an after party. For the or somebody going somewhere to kick it. Especially for the simple fact. They got that new rule. That, that, new, that new law down in, in Barbara. Yeah. Uh, everything closes. At two. At damn, really one o'clock. Yeah. Some motherfuckers push two o'clock just to keep their So that just going. means between yeah. two and five, motherfuckers either going to an after party or after hour joint, nigga, or somebody crib. Now, if exactly. it's if it's my roommate, we could talk Discuss about that. Discuss that though. Yeah, we could talk that. But if we have ties, oh, man, listen, gotta, listen here. We got long ass ties. Look, if we got ties, then either one or two or three need to happen. One of us gotta go our different ways, or because I ain't gonna deal with that, mm -mm. with the stress or the mental anticipation, not me being. All up in your business, but we live together. So, nigga, you know, for to come home, nigga, smelling like hot John sex and, and alcohol and weed, nigga, and, and everything like that, nigga, and then come home at five. Nah, bro, that's not what we about to do. Just at off all. the strength. It at don't all. even matter who 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 you was with. Who was it's just with, the strength. The where you was at? Five like, o'clock, nigga. I'm just not either getting up or I'm man, checking on the kids. Because mind you, I'm not there. So now I gotta actually really. Hope that you're okay. Miss Powell got the hoodie up. What you mean? Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm just saying it's way that way when nobody takes what I'm saying. I'm just saying it's You ain't got the answers, man. You ain't got the answers. Y'all got a kid together or something, or y'all was together, y'all broke up, but y'all roommates because of the lease agreement or whatever the case may be. There's certain guidelines and boundaries that you do not cross, and five o'clock is too late because then all barrel ahead. If I do that same shit, what is? Am I gonna get the same respect that you just got? Exactly. Am I gonna be able to have you turn your cheek the other way? Exactly. And mind you, I gotta break my, I gotta break my damn sleep when you get here. When you get here, cause you're making all this noise. Yeah. Not then you want to talk. Not a baby woke. Yeah. Then you want to talk about what, what, what happened, happened to the damn club yeah. while I'm trying to sleep. Fuck out of here. That's disrespectful. That is big time disrespectful. Men, men, men can't do that. No, no, men can't do that. Men can't do that. If I if I leave to go to lunch, nigga, and come back, nigga, I can leave to go to lunch at twelve o'clock in the afternoon and come back at seven, nigga. It's a problem. It's a whole problem. It just cuts off the strength, though, which I I I, I agree, but it'd be an emotional strength. If I did that, if she did that, she goes, "What you calling me for?" Not saying Miss Powell, but I'm just saying a, a female most likely would be like, "What you calling me for?" Yeah. Like, nah, nigga, like, it's a double-edged sword. I don't feel like there's a right or wrong answer. I feel like there needs to be boundaries put up. Like, take the old ones down and put some new ones up. Because clearly, this can't happen, this can't happen. So we got to be here. But in order for us to be here, we need to have some boundaries. Because if you could come home at 5 o'clock, that means, nigga, I could go spend the night over my nigga house. Because it's the same shit. It's Especially the, if I know you, who you shit. with. Doesn't matter who you with, what you're doing it with. As long as I know who you with, nigga, and I can call you and something happens, you can call me, you can check on the kids. It's all that matters. But I need to have an understanding. He said, did she call to check in? No. So, that's the, that's, that's, a, that's, that's a boundary. Another, this is another thing. Is it even more disrespectful to not answer the phone of the person whose vehicular mobile that you're using? Yes, but there are certain 
situations where that this might is, be, you know what I'm saying, a little gray area. Let's put it like that, right? This, this is after the club when they got to their destination. So, all right, let's, I'll give you a scenario. I'll, I'll give you a scenario we're going to play out for this and you do it like that, right? Mm -hmm. It's a Friday night. You at the crib. That person's gone, nigga. They just called you, said we 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 leaving the club, but we gonna go to Broad Ripples and just park a lot of pimp because shit, my homegirl is with this dude and I ain't trying to leave her. Sound like bullshit off barrel here, right? Mm -hmm. That's a scenario. <coughs> <coughs> An hour go by. You send one text. You good. No, matter of fact, let's just say you don't send that text. Okay. Let's say you think about sending that text is what is <coughs> making you, you know, <coughs> more, more, more higher. Yeah. So another hour go by. That's two hours. Two hours. Now, now it's five o'clock because they the club. They said it was gonna be up here at, at Robert for three thirty. No, nah, it, it's now it's five five thirty. Okay, it's okay. five thirty now. Okay. No call, no I text. My should have been walked through the door. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But if a person would have called at least, look. I'd rather for you to lie to me than not tell me anything and I assume anything and you still lie to me. Because you didn't confirm or deny it. So I'd rather for you to at least, if I hit you up, if I don't hit you in this two hours, because me and my wife do this. She can be out with her friends or whatever. I'm going to give you two calls. Call when you first leave, about 30 minutes or whatever, make sure you're good. Yeah. And then I'm going to call you at the estimated time that I think you get ready to leave or head this way. Now, let's say she don't answer that, that second call. Second call. I'll give it an hour and 30 minutes. Let's say she don't answer again. Now I'm shitty. Because, nigga, I done gave you chances and nine times out of ten between those times and I didn't text you said you're good. What's up? And I ain't trying to be an asshole, so I said a little gift or something. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like... Cause I'm trying to get your attention. Yeah, yeah. Cause like, but then, then I get to thinking like, damn, what is she with a motherfucker? And <laughs> like, I like, the phone. That's what my mind starts going to the... Luffy, And now, nigga, yeah. So that's yeah. what my mind starts going from right to fucking left. And then that's that's the thing. That's what females don't realize, bro. When y'all start making us think and start making us wonder, that's when the arguments come in. That's when because you analyze what starts. could happen and what should have happened. So now I got questions. Yeah, I got to be proven wrong. You feel me? And then you want to sit here and act like I'm wrong for having questions. No, no, no. And it's not even a trust thing. It's just, it's just, like I said, it, it's just, it, a, it's the, it's the reassurance. If a person, if a person put their boundaries in there, I'm expecting you to respect the boundaries. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Even if you don't come up to the boundary or whatever, and it just, Give it, if, give it a five ten yards. Give me a courtesy call at least twice. That's all I'm asking. Or at least give me a text. Because mind you, like I said, if like, you, I don't want a text. Like to, I want a text because you can hear somebody on the phone and they can text you. But, but here's the problem. I want none of that. Here, I want to hear your voice. Here's the problem with females, though. See, they 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 do what the fuck they want to do. So this it's like true. it's like they don't like to call or answer the phone when they're around their girls. You feel me? Nah, bro, that's some nigga shit. That's what I'm saying. That's some nigga shit. That's what I'm most, saying. And that's, bro, what, that's what females be trying to pull. Most most females, bro, they run their bitch, bro, or they bitches, or they friends, or whatever they want to call their friends at the same time. Nigga, they answer the phone right then and there. It's loud as fuck. Then you hear the bullshit going on. You hear a little TT in the background. Girl, shake your ass. Music, do, do, do. Or they in the car. You hear motherfuckers talking about, yeah, bitch, hit me my lip off. You hear the conversation. If you can't hear no conversation, I can't confirm where you went by just the, like, the surroundings of right. the background, right. then you ain't where you need you're to not, be. Yeah, you ain't, you, ain't, you ain't where you're at. I know what a bathroom sounds like, so don't say you're in a bathroom. And then it's bad after. And then it looks even worse when you call after the two missed calls. The two extended missed calls. Because mind you, after after that second missed call, it was more time extended. You know what I mean? So like So it's like, did you just get your story together? <laughs> <laughs> did you just find out what you was finna you know what I mean? Yeah, did you just uh -uh. But then at the same time, look uh -uh. on the other hand, we we can play I can play devil's advocate. On the other hand, it's up to that other person who's Making this phone call 
to be mentally strong to ignore the situation and realize nigga what that person is capable of doing if i make it sense so like for me if she didn't answer the phone for the first two times yeah i'm shitty at the end of the day nigga i know if she get in the car accident i'm gonna be the first nigga that she call or the police call or the hospital so nigga if i get a random phone call nigga then i know what's up then it was an accident but if i don't get that random phone call then nigga, i know what's up Taking my black ass and about smoking two blunts, get on 2K, nigga, shit. Maybe watch a little porn, nigga, and go to sleep. But you want to know what's fucked up? <laughs> you want to know what's fucked up? We shouldn't We shouldn't have to do that. Yeah. You see what I'm but saying? But that's why I was saying it's a double-edged sword, yeah. because if it was the other way around, yeah. nigga. Because. Mother would because that makes you them, down. Exactly, because that makes them feel like. Bitch. Hold on, what she said. So what happens when you don't answer the phone the first two call times, and now she got a question? Are you going to catch an attitude because she's asking you questions? If I don't answer the first two calls and then I answer and she got questions, I'm going to answer the question. If a motherfucker answer the phone with the attitude after all that, nigga, they on bullshit. Oh, yeah, yeah, they with somebody. Like, you're getting on them and the other person's nerve. And even on the other end, if you get an attitude after, nigga, like, the motherfucker not answer the phone and you mad during that time and then they finally call and you answer the phone with attitude, like, nah, nigga, you should be more nonchalant. Well, I'm gonna be busy. like I have a problem with it. You know, I'm a, I'm I'm shitty. I be shitty. I be, 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 but I have to realize, like, nigga, it's better to be more nonchalant and then think about the situation, nigga, because like I knew you was gonna play me, but so yeah. I hyped myself up for something that I knew that was gonna happen, and yeah. I let it happen. So, nigga, I can get shitty because it's an inflicted wound. I got cut, yeah. Oh. But I can't get shitty because it's damaged because I knew the damage was going to come. So I prepared myself. But it's so fucked up because <clears throat> it's fucked up when you know that you got to prepare yourself for some shit like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then it's even more fucked up what when a female gets comfortable with you being nonchalant about it. That's what makes them keep doing it and keep doing it. <laughs> she said, where the fuck do I go? I don't, I don't, I don't know where you went. I don't know what she said. She said I'd be at work with a store and get food. No, I wasn't. I'm not saying I was just saying it in, in yeah, general. In general. general. No, nah, yeah, it's just like I said, <laughs> it, it makes females comfortable, bro. Like, ah, he ain't gonna trip. No, I'm that nigga that trip. <laughs> I, but, because if something happened, like, like I said, when I wasn't there, you got into a fight. Look, See what I'm saying? When I'm when I'm headed there to protect her, I, I don't wish no harm on so nobody. Now I want your but you were in the most safest place. You there with your kids, snuggled up, warm, tucked away, nigga. Fuck it. But mind you, I don't. Wanna, I care for you. I don't want to be the only parent. I don't. I don't want to be. I don't want. I don't want to be there. I want to make sure that you're there at home before before the time that shit be really popping. The time the shit be really, like shit really be going yeah. down. You feel what I'm saying? Like when yep. we're be nice, tipsy, drunk, and fucked up, and don't give a fuck. Somebody can make that wrong turn or how yeah. to Kurt, come but, on, bro. So, ladies, I have to remember we are protective as fuck. No matter who we are, no matter who it is, we are protective, and we have to make sure that y'all are okay so we can be okay. She says, "So you want her home at 11? No. <laughs> <laughs> because here's the thing with that. She already leaves out the house at 11. Right. See what I'm saying? She leaves out the house at 11. From 11 to 3, that's what? Three, four? Three, four hours? Yeah. Three, four hours? That's good enough. I need at least a call at 3. I need a text at 2. Asking, no, asking, probably, I probably call it too. Asking if I, you left at eleven, I probably call it too. Like you good? I mean, you ooh, leave, ooh. you you leaving out at two, so you can text me and be like, "Are you still up?" And I can be like, "Yeah." I'm like, okay, well, we leave in the club. So uh, do you got to unlock the door, or she got a key? She got a key. Oh well, shit, fuck it, nigga. Oh uh -uh. god. Uh uh. No, no, it, it still ain't fucking because mind you, anybody can be walking through that door. Yeah, if but something, if something happens. If something happens, if something happens. With, with her or you, her, nigga, I'm at the house. I'm at the house. I, I, I this, I didn't sat here and mind you, I didn't sat here and pulled up at a scheduled time. I'm set with my schedules. You right. feel me? I pull up at a decent time. I make sure I get home at a decent time because I don't want to hear this. 
Right. See what I'm saying? But it's not and, like that the other way And it's way not around. like that the other way around. Females don't give a fuck when we get to doing this. Because then they can be like, oh, I'm grown. And oh, I do. I'm a woman. <laughs> I'm a woman. Uh, she said, okay, so 3 a.m., that's normal. That's normal. You feel me? But 5, 6, that's pushing it. That's when the police is outside looking for somebody who's drunk. But at the same time, what I, I guess what I'm saying is, and I'm not saying you're wrong for being invested or having those feelings or whatever about this person or the roommate, so to speak. Thanks. But that person grown. Even though you want to protect that person, are y'all entwined or y'all just on the same bond? If y'all just on the same bond, I don't wish no harm upon you or whatever, and I pray for you and everything like that. But at the end of the day, I mean, we still, I mean, you might as well say we're really still intertwined because if, if you're still having sexual intercourse with that person that you're not with, you might as well say that y'all still. Yeah, that's why I said y'all bullshit at the beginning. Exactly. So. But a motherfucker want that cake and eat it too, though. You can't that's have what it that. If, you can't have that if the other person can't have it. And then now it's starting to sound more like a leverage thing. And I ain't going to get on all that because, you nigga, we on camera. But. It now it seems more like a leverage thing because of the situation. Exactly. So exactly. regardless if she agreed to the boundary or not, but, you're in a but situation. Mind you, but mind you, fuck the situation because it was like that when we was actually together. Feel me? A motherfucker had to complain about the time when a motherfucker was coming in and the motherfucker still didn't respect. So, it. That's why I said female females really be respecting what they want to respect, bro, because that, they only care about well, some only care about what they got going on or what they need to be having. That, and on. there's a couple, there's a couple of links in this chain that I'm not going to necessarily disclose. Mm -hmm. But I feel like there's a couple of links in this chain that makes this situation difficult to be able to either separate, branch, or bygones be bygones right. or co-parented or whatever. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So we know one of them. I'm not going to say the other one, but. We're pretty sure we're on the same page with at least two things that could be used as leverage. Now, is that fair? No. Now, the good thing about that is, is that on one of those two things, there's an equal amount of time with that link. Mm -hmm. Making sense? So, with you spending that much time with that link or those links, it's going to make your chain stronger. Okay. Now, remember... It's you at the head, nigga, and then there's nobody at the end because you're still building your chain of life, so to speak. But you got two, three different links. Yeah, she was a link, but nigga, you get rid of this link and built these three links, and now there's four strong links right here. And that should be the main focus because... But you want to know what's fucked up about things? But, again, they try, that's the they leverage. Try to take that's the leverage. Yeah. They try to take the links. Yeah, that's so that, it's like, that's that but bullshit. the links have artificial intelligence. Yeah. So at a certain point in time, nigga, they're going to realize, yeah. nigga, who's the potter? Who's who, who? Who really is the welder? Who's really with the iron smith making the links? And who's just plating the links and making them look pretty? Exactly. Because there's a difference. You know, saying so a welder, when you see a welder, it's a big, strong nigga. You know what I'm saying? He put in that work, he's sweating, he got bruises or whatever. But everybody in the village fuck with him. The nigga that motherfucking paint that shit, oh, he, he's like a bread boy. Doesn't mean his job is not as important. That's, yeah. Because you need somebody to make something look pretty and tidy and shit. But at the same time, if it wasn't for the welder, then there wouldn't be no link. Right. You know what I mean? Okay, what did she say? It sounds like nothing is officially established on on where you are in your relationship. You you're so mean. Oh my god, you're like three questions. Oh, uh, my bad. I, I was, was into down. it. I said look down. I did, but I didn't see and anything. I said look down. I said you could be together. Sexually and not emotionally. Not that you need to ask her if she truly invested emotionally. Because y'all could be together sexually for the children, but emotionally is she invested? Because if she's doing that, that and too, don't man. care, then that means she's not there. She could have exited the relationship a long time ago. Thank you. What? 
I'm just saying, but you need but, to ask her that no, if that is the but case. It, and that's the thing that that that's that. But they right, that's but they have been wanting to be the case, but it's gonna be the case. So now one of y'all need to exit that be, door and actually like and it, part, and it like, be fucked it be fucked up other. because like I said, like we was just yeah. talking about when when that actually did happen, she was trying to keep one she was trying to use one of the links as a leverage. You feel me? Yeah. Well really all all three links as a leverage. Yeah. Well one of y'all gotta put that big and be like this ain't working out. Exactly. We only can be. But you took, what you got to do is somebody feel like it's going to be hurt. But at the end of the day, the, this ain't going to work. If one, if you're okay with her, if y'all, if y'all, I feel like, together, no, I'm just saying, if they're okay being together and co, you know, co parenting together, doing it together, but living separate lives, but in the same house, then that needs to be a step. It does happen, it can happen. But y'all need to set some rules if y'all still want to be together sexually, because then that's when emotions get tied in. But then when she's exactly. ready to go out and do her, she want she's going to do her, and your feelings be hurt like damn. Because you're still invested, that. right? So, at the so, end of the day, y'all so, need to get that sexual got to be hurt. Look, look, like that's what got to be done. Well, that's the hardest part to do is sexually, because all y'all gonna keep just rallying up these feelings. On an emotional roller coaster for no reason. And again, right. again, you have to realize what's best for you and those small links. Right. Even if those that's links right. come with extra ornaments on them because of the other chain that's on the other side, you have to figure out. Remember, you're a welder. Right. So build welding up to where, nigga, it doesn't matter. Does that mean you got to be tunnel vision to a certain extent? Yes, but, but that's because you're focusing on you. Right. And if you focus on you and you do you, they go, of course you're going to take care of the links. You see what I'm saying? But you got to do what's best for you. And it's going to take time. Can't you just jump out there and you know, get a, you know, Hudson, exactly. Hudson Bay and get to swimming? And that's yeah. what a lot of people think. And that's the, the but problem. It, it's that people, point of period in time where it. that transition where it's harder the most because nigga, there's emotional connection, there's yeah. a sexual connection, there's other connections. And Really don't nobody want to hurt nobody, but one person's already ready to do with them. Mm -hmm. And because they feel some way they love another person, but not in love with a person, nigga, they, they got you. But then you or that other person ain't feeling that same type of way. You like, you know what I'm saying? I'm still kind of still hoping. I, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to be a statistic. You know what I mean? I feel like if we could just da 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 maybe it'd be better. But then Why like, are you running? It goes back to your mental capacity. What you want to do, how you want to maneuver. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like just on some big bro shit, because they got been through it, they got been through it married. Oh God, nigga. And that's where I remember when we the last the last last podcast we did where they were talking about keeping the flame. Yeah. Sometimes nigga it should be like this. Strong. The relationship strong. Then yeah, the motherfucker get back. Yeah, to get like that, and then next, <laughs> but then what people fail to realize is like, why would you try to save it when the fuel is already gone? Now you got to refuel it, but what you gonna refill it up? But you don't know what to fill this motherfucker up with. You know what I mean? Like I don't know. I just try to speak in metaphors and similes so people can understand. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like a lot of people just don't be wanting to accept what's really going on. You know what I mean? Especially if it's not in their favor. Like if and again that's that's, that's manipulation and that's using to me. Yeah, that's using. That's like a low key form of witchcraft, you know what I mean? And I don't fuck with it. So it's like if you're willing to manipulate me, then I gotta I gotta I gotta seriously think about it because I'm not gonna be manipulated by nobody. The only person that's gonna persuade me to do something is me and God. And then my links. Well, let me hear you go steer me wrong. You know what I'm saying? And until my links get strong enough to where they can start their own chains, nigga, I gotta be strong master enough, welder. Let it go. Yeah. You know what I mean? I gotta be master welder. Now, we're supposed to complete this chain, but we if we can't complete this chain, then I gotta find another piece emotionally for me to complete this chain with my links. Exactly. Now, 
we can make this an interchangeable link to where nigga if you need me we can link on together and you know what i'm saying like that and we can keep it cordial and we can still do birthdays and and holidays and i can still go to your mama house and you still go we can still keep the same relationship but yeah. we're just not together we're just cool cool we're cool cordial you know what i mean co-parents but sometimes like sometimes you just gotta smoke a blunt and talk to a motherfucker but then yeah. Well, men I'm have a problem with it is when I try to tell you something emotionally, you get emotional about what I'm feeling emotionally. Now I'm wrong. Mm-hmm. And it's like, now I'm trying to defend how I feel, and I, I'd rather just be quiet or shut up. You know what I mean? But so, then they try to play you like you're wrong when you when you keep shit to yourself. But that's a, uh, and I feel like that's a, that's a feminine trait. I definitely feel like a feminine trait because there's nothing I feel like I can do. To change that with my wife, but then as you get older, it gets it gets it gets, it gets better. Like I'll be ninety five, she'll be like ninety three, and like shut yo bitch, fuck you, yo man. Mm-hmm. And then at this point, nigga, shit, you say whatever the fuck you want to say. No, for real. But we built that relationship as friends and as individuals, nigga, to be able to talk to each other like that because I'm not coming from a place of malice or destruction or wrath or or, or anything like that. I'm coming from a genuine place, like my nigga. We made it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Even if it's, even if you were somebody, nigga, like five years and y'all made it in seven years, there's a relationship that y'all have. Like, make it finish sentences or she know how you think or you know what they think. But again, it goes back to rekindling that flame. Maybe you, maybe you're using the wrong gas to fill up the car. Maybe a motherfucker upgraded their car or their vehicle or how they think or how they maneuver, nigga, and, and never informed you. Mm-hmm. You had a feeling, you got intuition, you got discernment, so you had a feeling that a motherfucker got a new engine, but you wasn't, you didn't, yeah, you, you wasn't you didn't really, really sure. I be yeah. under the motherfucker all the time, I still yeah. couldn't tell. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, like I said, motherfucker could have had, you could have been putting 87 in that motherfucker, the motherfucker just upgraded, just the way of thinking or whatever, and, and they're just 89. They ain't thinking like premium, they're just 89, but you didn't know. Mm-hmm. So now, nigga, you put the wrong gas in the car now. You know what goes on after that. No, nah, for real. It just starts. So then what you got to do is you got to flush that bitch. <laughs> now you got to flush it or, you yeah. know, keep filling it up until, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, or a motherfucker might not even fuck with that and be like, you know what, shit. I, I'm on solar panels now. You'd be like, I didn't even know you was into that type of shit. Yeah, no, nah, for real. It's just, it's just different perspectives, like. I said, taking care of yourself is realizing am, could I be wrong or am I right? Or am I right about being wrong or am I right just in general? You know what I'm saying? Because we think like that as men. Like, was I right for getting this job? Was I wrong for quitting? Was I wrong or, or right for quitting because dude was talking shit? Or was I right in general because nigga, I deserve better? Nigga, I got bars. I'm good. No, <laughs> no I, I, you speaking facts though. That's, that's shit that a lot of people won't won't think like on the hood, bro. Cause life too short, bro. And I know how nigga we think. Not like we we twins or nothing, but I just know how we think, nigga. When we in a situation to where nigga, I ain't down and out, but nigga, I'm kind of down. I'll never try to be out, but if I'm out, nigga, I would rather know why I'm out. And I seen it coming, and now it's fucking with me internally because I let it happen. Right. Like, like I didn't see the signs. Right. You know what I mean? So it's like, did I see the sun? That this is where I'm talking about. We got to step back. Step back. When this shit was popping off, did I not call it out like this? You talk to yourself. Yeah. Did I not say this was gonna happen? Yeah, you right. No, no, no. Did I not say this was right. going to happen? All right. <laughs> and then if you go, now, nigga, now you talking to yourself. Now, nigga, now, you, now your thugs out telling you, nigga. Yeah, well, fuck it then. Fuck it then. Fuck it. And sometimes yeah. you got to have those mental conversations with yourself, nigga, when shit happened. Yeah. Did I let this shit happen or did it just happen? Did it, yeah, did it just happen? Because if I let this shit happen, that means somewhere along the line, nigga. This is my fault. Yeah. Yeah. So if it's my fault, I'll take one hundred percent responsibility for it, nigga. I fucked up. Yeah. Now the problem is with most niggas is when they had that conversation, they not willing to be man enough to go to that person and be like, you know what? I fucked up. I jumped the gun, my nigga. Shit. Niggas be ready to 
I'm ready, ready to go. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. 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 It's just different respect. That's just me, you know what I mean, being real. Not necessarily devil's having just like always look at a perspective, nigga, from both sides, nigga. Like when you see a fence, nigga, you just see the, the fence on your side. There's two sides of that motherfucker. Right. And nigga, on top of that, that motherfucker goes six feet down on the ground. So what you looking at ain't what, what you really looking at. And, hey, that's another word for you. It's two sides and everything could be six feet on the ground looking at you. <laughs> nigga, I got bars, nigga. What are you talking about? <laughs> that thing 12 feet tall. You just now on its level or think it's on its level. Uncover that motherfucker and look at it for real. These motherfuckers. But y'all know what it is. It's power right against the gaming, man. We had uh, religion, views or beliefs. You know what I mean? She co host Bo. Your ex co host or former co host or chat manager or whoever she want to be, the boss, the CEO, the manufacturer, but all Miss Pound, my lovely wife. Y'all know what it is. Grand opening. Hey, we about to uh, do a transition. Get on top. Go ahead, Bucko. There we go. That's another little bit of spin. Ooh, kind of Ooh that's a trash bag. Yeah, Already. Already, it would be you. Already. How do you have your car organized? You just be holding them and looking at them. Let's go. Discard all cars, save numbers. If you don't have it, just play whatever card is. Uh, FBI, open up! Alright, still red. <laughs> oh shit, I'm about to spin. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright. It's red. Spin, yeah, spin. Gosh. You know what, this is like, what? Who don't see it? Yeah. I, think I, 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 think, I, think, I think he did her god clear. No, he did! Oh, that was the point first. That's me. That was not saying, you. We definitely didn't hear you. I, 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 no, you did. I did say it. No, you did. I did. Oh, we'll no, you did. We'll let you keep it. Three, five. Is that going to me or me? Yeah. Oh, I got to spin? No, it's a regular. Okay, well, uh, you can spin. What? <sighs> <laughs> Discard uh, all numbers of the same number. Or have your back. Then play that card. It's a green. Uh, you got no <laughs> numbers? No. Ooh. And it's a spin. So draw your floor and spin. Draw your floor and spin. What's blue? Oh, shit. Hey, you tell what's green and what's blue. <laughs> Ooh, pick until you get a red card. That's fucked hey, up. Hey, you better have a deck, fool. <laughs> All right. Let's go to the next question. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Then we better have a deck. The color is green with your spin. One, two. All right, play your highest card. My highest card. Your highest number card. Everybody put your face down. Ass up. All right. All right. One, two, three. Yeah. I got a nine. Oh yeah, you got it too. Pew 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 pew. Discard it. Crazy. Man, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> so we stacking on that? 
It's your turn, ain't it? Oh, God. God. Can we put draw twos on top of draw fours? No. Yeah. No, I'm just playing. Yellow. Red. Oh shit. I didn't know no mustard over here. Green. I told you I can't tell blue from green from yellow. Yes. I cannot see. Something wrong with you. I don't think you're colorblind. I just think something wrong with you. Babe, I you cannot. Feel. You got to see it. Uh, I can't. Okay. Shit, I can't, I can't see the little swirl. Yeah. Trade the cards. Yes, take them. Jesus, take them. How did I get this deck, nigga? What's the color? Green. Oh, I'm about to do some shit with this. Y'all are not doing this correctly. What you mean? Mm. That's a green under there. Now it's yellow. I think we'll be doing the shuffle hand, bro. No, it don't shuffle hand, bro. what he got. This look like... This looks like a motherfucker shuffling the cards. Oh, oh, oh. Who get... Omar be shuffling, don't be me. No, nah, don't try to change the rules. We been shuffling them shits, man. Yeah. I should look that up. Well, oh, uh, the shuffle hand? Yeah, the shuffle And we hand. already said it. She said trade with any players, and you pick who you want to trade with. If you use it, you do. You pick uh, who. She said that, yeah. Uh, but remember? But they got a call called swap hands. They but got... her, that's not in the deck. Swap hands is not in this deck. It's shuffle hand. Alexa. It's Uno. What do it mean when you shuffle hands? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, when you play the shuffle hands card in Uno, you collect all of the other players' cards, reshuffle them together, and then evenly deal them back out to the other players. I knew it! Oh, Some players may have more or less cards. So you take all our cards, shuffle them, and then redeal. Well, I should know, but she said another answer yesterday. That was Remember? Swap hands. That was swap hands. Yeah, you saw me. That was the other game. That was swap hands. Oh, we did play the other game. Okay, I was confused. That was my bad. Okay. That's why, because I was looking at it, I was like, this one looked like the one from the show. Spin, Okay. It's a spin. Okay, so when you play that, you take our hand, shuffle it up, and breathe the other. And okay. some people don't have already got it. Okay, that's what it means. Good shit. Uh, I don't think you can do that. <laughs> Till right. you draw blue, that's not the table of blue. I thought we, I thought that's what we were doing last right yeah. time. He said draw blue. He started it. I know, but it's not technically a blue. It's uh, a fucking black like blue. blue. I'm about to say, I mean, it's a. It can be a blue though. It can be. Because on, on there it say wild card. It says he get a uh, the a color blue. or blue. a wild card. It does say that. It say or wild. Where's the where's the instructions? Yeah, come oh, on. I don't have where y'all at. Y'all lost my instructions. They in the drawer. I see one. Oh, okay. Bo was like, he well, was yeah, say or, oh, I'm going to say or wild for he, he was like, he's an honor speller. No, it's not in there, sorry. Yeah. What's the color? Uh, red. Alright. I've seen it when I walked in. I have no idea. Hold on. You said red? Yeah. Alright, yeah. miss missing you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Then I got a bank roll. Oh, stop you. Good. Come on, bro. Showtime. Well, man, you got like nine cards. Uh, right? I mean, you know, I'm trying to really debate on what I really want to do because you know how this shit be going around here. I ain't going to lie to you. Yeah, I'm going to make it about the show, but that's why you asked. I ain't going to lie to you. Because I had it, and it went twice over that when somebody got their shovel card. I'm doing like I'm doing like that. Do like that. We can't do it. You can't. Oh yeah, two, two. Yeah, yeah, right. I know. Okay, okay. I'm okay. just, just, just sure. saying I can see four color, but it's no numbers. That's that's four. Of them. Oh, you know what I mean? No, it's not. That's six of them. That's six of them. <laughs> 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 I'm mad. I got spin over there. Nah, you got to spin, nigga. Yeah, you got to yeah, spin. You can't attack. No, it's all going to snap on your turn, and your turn will be there. But it's my turn, and I spin. Everybody got to see my card. Cause look, she you did you, you did oh, four. Yeah, she got yeah, that. two. Yeah. I spun and stacked. Hold on, no, no, no. So you put the, these two. I that's four. Them. I said no, nope, no. Nope. I said that's six. So that means that he I has spun to and spin, stack, right? Yeah, I spun and stacked. So and you, I showed y'all all my cards.
hard because that's what No, they you have to spin. Yeah, you spin. I just spun. That's how I got right here. But I mean, you can't stack. You can't stack it on your chart. Well, because you gotta, you gotta do a spin. You can't spin and then, stack. But he got a spin, though. No. I missed that. I put a spin card down. No. No, babe. No. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is you. No, that's, uh, that's no, you, right? you my dad no card, babe. That's you. That was Keisha. That was my card. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. See, you got to spin. If it was a normal, normal, yeah, if it was a normal draw, too, then, then, yeah, you, then you, you can, can stack that motherfucker. But you got to spin. But you got to draw, too. That was. And my draw, too, is a spin it's card. It's a spin card. So what I'm saying, what I'm asking is I can't stack and spin. No. You can stack on this. You can stack on that. I can't stack and spin. That's what I'm asking. No, you can't stack and spin. Oh, it might be. Uh, 
I mean, I guess whoever. Right. No, no. It's gonna be uneven. It's gonna be uneven. Okay. Make sure. Get that one little yeah, little bit. Don't try to cheat. Shuffle that good. Little, 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 little
Yeah, she got a job too. Of course I do. Then put it down. Well, oh no, no, you can't do that. I told you. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I'm finished first. Oh wow. Uh... Ooh, pick that, get it red. That's fine. Get my red right there. That means I only got three cards. Ha <laughs> ha, bitch. Fair trade. You got spin. You got spin, my little book. That picture I get red and pick my four cards. One of my four cards was a spin. Go ready. Y'all think that? Woo! My ass. Y'all ready? Why did you pick one? Oh my god, come on. One, two, three. Nigga! Alright, me. Come on, you ready? Your second highest card. Ready? One, two, three. Damn, second. That was the next highest card. Where's my six? Right. <laughs> Where's my six? I got a six over here. You don't got a number. All right. You don't got a number. Uh -huh. Then I win. You fuckers. Right, right. It's still red. Who's on? Who's on me? You made him spin. I did. Oh, so 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 no, no, yeah. I'm gonna say, hold on. You made him. Made him spin. You ain't got shit out here. No red. Hurting. Red, red, you pee back. Hurting. None. Hurting. Damn. Yeah. Don't fucking draw photos. <laughs> I think about three of them. <laughs> Stack them. <laughs> no. Spin. Yeah. Yeah. 
son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. You better start talking cash shit now. Son of a bitch. Damn. You're my pet hook. It's a bridge, y'all. You gonna go green. I can't do nothing. It's a red, y'all. Don't even worry about it. 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 You ain't got nothing either? No, great. Damn. It ain't coming up. Damn, speed and draw. Shit, it's coming blue. Thank you. Oh, it's better. Get me back in the blue blue. Why is blue? He said to be his face. He said to be his face. Yeah. I'll let you pick that song. Mm-hmm. So that's seven? Yeah. Seven pigeons. Yeah, I did. 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 Yeah, no four. I knew it. Y'all hide. I won this. I won this one better. This me. One, this me. two, three. This me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Turned it over. Okay, Cause I already knew. I was like, I know. All right. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Right.